Hold on, hold on. Let me just see here. All right, what? Let's see. All right, what? All right, we're good. Hey there, folks. This is David Stream of Consciousness, and welcome back to our ongoing Let's Play stream, whatever, of Yakuza 3 Remastered for the PS4. All right, yeah, so... Oh, uh, all right, so, yeah. Last time, we took care of a good chunk of side quests, and, uh, let's see, built up some cash, uh... Yeah, uh, I could go and finish up my... Uh, yeah, I figured out why I wasn't able to progress my training with Komaki. I need to go and master the Komaki... Uh, relearn the Komaki Fist Reversal. So, yeah, definitely gonna need to take care of that. But, hey, I got the Tiger Drop. That's all that matters. At least right now. Alright, anyways. Food and drink. Yes, I managed to get everything except for Conrai, which I plan to boost out... By reopening the call, uh, waiting until I reopening the Coliseum and partaking some tournaments there, and then there's the Pronto Cafe, which is only open during the day, so I'll definitely need to keep an eye out for that. Let's see, mini games wise, yes, I've cleared out darts, uh, karaoke, bowling, pool, and uh, let's see, and uh, let's see the uh, let's see the UFO catcher, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, so all that's left is maxing out Silo, Chohan, Koi Koi, Ochikabu, uh, Blackjack, Poker, and Roulette. And I'll take care of that as soon as I get some more cheating to uh, get some more cheating items, or I wait till Chapter 12 when I get access to Haruka again. All right. Anyways, aside from that, yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, now to go. Uh, all right. Since we uh, dealt with uh, story-wise, after we dealt with Wesker. Yeah, it's time to go and uh, meet uh, head for Kashiwaki at the Cosmo office in, um, in the Millennium Tower, so let's go and do that. Yeah, I remember that this game does have a plot. Alright, let's see if there's any, uh... Let's see if there's any uh, coin locker keys inside the Millennium Tower, which I'm more than certain there is. Let's see... Uh -uh. Let's see, anyway, up. No, uh -uh. Just gotta keep an eye out for any of these flashing, blinking lights. Let's see, did I, uh... Ah, yes, the Millennium Tower. I'm just remembering what it took to build this thing. You know, all the trouble getting, uh, all the trouble getting it all set up. And, of course, the empty lot incident. Oh, boy. That was... Uh, yeah, that may have been a, um, that may have been a mess, but yeah, it was without a doubt one of the most important events in Kiryu's life, you know. Er earned in the name of the Dragon of Dojima, and yeah, uh, brought about the, uh, brought about the slow, slow fall of the Tojo. All right, let's just see anything else here. I bet there's a key around here. I just need to find the thing. Oh, for a second, I saw something. Let's see. That's disappointing. Honestly, I thought that there would be some, uh, would be a would be a locker key around here, but whatever. All right, time to go and visit Kajiwagi. Uh, ah, there you are. Osamu Kashiwagi, or captain of the Tojo clan, patriarch of the Kazuma family. Oh, I was missing these. Kashiwagi-san. 
あまり時間がないお前とはいろいろと話しておかなければならないことがあるはい今日の幹部会のことだ Alright, so yeah, the officer's meeting and time to get the low down on the three. So you go there. Hyundai me obi modo siato. Suyoshi Kanada, patriarch of the Nishikiyama family. Suyoshi Kanda. So the Ima Rokudai mega gembo hanaratra. Tojo kai no kibanga yurugi kane. Kokoa sayak no jitai mo so te shi. 他の組織も承服する人間に登場会を任せるのが先決だ。何やと？私は賛成です。Yoshitaka Mine, Chairman of the Hakuro Clan。ミネオノレ。神田の兄貴、ここはキリュウ四代目に出張ってもらうのが最善の策です。何やと？カジラ、俺は六代目と。直接酒漬けを交わした間柄です。本来なら何があっても大悟さんに戻ってきてもらいたい。ですが、近江連合やその他の組織のこともあります。ここは早急に他の組織が納得できる代行を立て、大悟さんの帰りを待つしかないと思います。うん。まさら何言うとじゃ。国道が頭取られて落ち着いとる場合か。カブバクレット頭おかしいとちゃうか。おおみね。俺も神田と同じ意見です。極道だったらまずやることは後目のことよりも返しが先でしょう。うん、ゴーハマザキ、patriarch of the Hamazaki family。ハマザキ、カシラ、俺が仕入れた情報じゃ。会長跳ねたのは風間のおじきによく似た男と聞きましたが、浜崎お前、そんなほんまか。どういうこっちゃ。六代目の側近の話だと、大悟が会長室で撃たれた時、部屋にいたのは風間の親父によく似た男だったらしいが。Alone in his office。まあ一度死んだそのおじきが生き返るわけもありません。別の人間だとは思いますが、頭、なんかご存知なんじゃないですか。いや、俺も全く見当がつかない。どちらにしても今登場会がすべきことは、会長を撃った男を捕まえて、誰が戦争を仕掛けたのかを探ることでしょう。四代目キリュウさんを戻すのはそれからでも良いのでは。Well, he's not wrong. Yeah, so do what you go. Huh? You know, so can you told you, okay, now she will cut a miracle to us in case of this. Joke, you should kill them. Take kill you sound. I call it a day. It's my you and not take a night. So she can hold her. She's yeah, he's not wrong either. この際やから言うときますわ。うちら三代目錦山組、桐生の下に入るのはお断りや。<笑>初代も先代も桐生にやられたいうこと、うちら錦山組は忘れてへん。だがそん時お前は強姦罪で無償の中だっただろうが。長いじゃボケが。とにかく桐生の首取る理由、錦山組にはあるんじゃ。どうなったらキルをぶっ殺してわしが登場会の後目になったるキルは登場会の敵じゃわしの手でキルの首取ったらそれは聞き捨てならない話だなあ,あキリュウさんとやり合うのは構わないだが錦山組に登場会の後目渡すわけにはいかねえってことだねえカジラ何を言っているんだ今後目の話なんかしている場合かでも頭は桐生さんを呼ぼうとしてる
俺も神田と同じでそれには反対なんですよ浜崎このまま桐生さんが代行に座ればそのまま七代目に復帰ということもあるお前もそれは嫌だろう峰<笑>もう一人の幹部の意見も聞きたいね真島の兄さんよ Oh, you were here? Hmm. What do you have to say on this one, Majima? Anta mo hombu no wakagashira hosa da. Nani ka shabette kudasai yo. Ah, hoksa. Oh boy, here we go. Huh? Ore wa besi ni do demo e. あんたらで好きにやってくれやどういうことや風間のおっさんの亡霊探すもよし桐生ちゃんとドンパチするのもよし好きにせえ yeah, his response is fuck this shit I'm out そうや一言言うとくわ喧嘩すんのは結構やがもしうちの島に入ってきたらそん時は怪我するだけじゃすまへんで、ね、真島ノーデッドほなキリュウちゃんえらいことになったでWell, it's not like you could have done anything to help, but no, you're just like, yep, fuck this shit, I'm out. Sonna Kotoga. Sudden you, Omega Kamurochoni Mototikita Koto, Shite Lukumi Mordaro. Tokuni Kanda no Wokini wa Kyotskero. Hm. Yeah, old grudges and whatnot. Sorezer no Kumiga, Sorezer no Kodo Nitir. Whatever Kanda no Woki Osai, Ikokumo Haiku Daigo Uta Otokoto, you know, Tskitomer Tsumida. その件ですが、実は、これは、Yep、Dead Ringer。Last night, the man in the sketch shot the patriarch of the Ryudo family down in Okinawa, a guy by the name of Nakahara. And you're sure this is what the attacker looked like? I didn't believe it myself at first, but the girl who watched it all go down drew this afterwards. Which means the sixth chairman and this Nakahara were assaulted by the same man. And yeah, um, uh, this fake uh, this fake Kazuma is working with uh, working with uh, with those uh, with those uh, with those U.S. spooks. Yeah, namely that Wesker guy. But they don't know that yet. So what the hell does the United States government have to get out of this? Why would they go and ha send one of their agents to work with a uh, work with this fake Cosma to shoot Daigo and star all this bullshit? I'm guessing it might have something to do with the military base in Okinawa, but ugh. the pieces are all falling into place. What do you mean? More likely than not, Daigo's involvement in the Okinawa deal is what led to his being attacked. Ah, you mean the resort? Yes. As you're well aware, the Tojo aided the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transportation in acquiring the land necessary to build Minister Suzuki's proposed resort. Right, but Daigo told me you guys backed out, and that the government was trying to negotiate with the locals instead. They were, but it seems someone else has started scooping up the land. There must be another party involved in all this. Speaking of, the man that sketched didn't just shoot Nakahara, he also stole the deed to his land. What? I bet the man showed up asking for the deed, then put a bull in Nakahara when he refused to hand it over. And then it's safe to assume the assault on the sixth chairman was for the same reason, specifically for the land your orphanage rests on, Kiryu. So Daigo knows who these people are? In all likelihood, yes. The truth of it is, that resort deal would have brought massive cash flow to the Tojo clan. Minister Suzuki was eager to remind us of that fact at any possible moment. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so Suzuki's got you guys by the sh uh, got you guys by the balls. But Daigo's firm in his resolve. He refused? Why? I think you know. It was because of your orphanage, Kiryu. Uh, once he learned you would be evicted and your kids would lose their home, he washed his hands of the whole thing. 
Uh. So he put himself in harm's way to keep us safe. Ah, uh, great. So attacking on Takiryu's mounting guild. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for me and my orphanage. Oh, boy. Honestly, Kiryu, you've almost got even worse issues than Peter Parker when it comes to this crap. Uh, where is he now? Somewhere safe. I chucked him into a hospital. Which one? I think it's best you don't know. I can't have you going there and risk someone following you. You'll just have to trust me for the time being. Uh, not like you haven't given us reasons not to trust you. You've been a pretty solid bro throughout, uh, throughout this whole damn thing, so... I could do that. How's he doing, though? Balancing on a knife's edge at the moment. The next week or so will determine which way he falls. Um... <whistles> right. Great. Yeah, we... Yeah, so... Kashiwagi's dead. Okay, did... D didn't see that one coming. Yeah, so Kiryu has basically lost. Yeah, he's lo not only lost Kazuma, but he's also lost uh, Kashiwagi. Chapter six, game plan, and yeah, it's got to be one of those three. Uh, Mine. Uh, uh, <laughs> An ulcer. Oh, great, here we go again. Really should have gotten a change of clothes, kid you. Yeah, smooth, dude, smooth. Looks like I shook them off. Yeah, just running a couple of blocks down the street. Yeah, uh, yeah, just a couple of meters down the street. Yeah, just he'll they'll never catch you now. Can't go back that way though. Huh? Oh, why did you stick? Uh, hey, you there? Uh, oh, this is no time to get hold of by the cops. I have to get away somehow. Uh, not good. Not good. Not good. Get to the uh, pink destination on the mini map before the police can uh, police can catch you. Here's the full route. Oh boy, here we go. But be careful. The streets are riddled with police officers display as pink icons on your mini map. Those cops will join the chases you run by them. So keep on your guard. All right, gotta run now. Hmm. Oh, run, Forrest, run! Are you, uh, get you take my advice, get a new change. Mm. Oh, Date. Date san. Oh, good. Hi there. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? Yeah, please let uh, You got like a change of clothes. <laughs> Uh, come on, I got a little bar I like not too far from here. We'll be safe there. 
Uh, stick close, though. Uh, I doubt the cops are gonna just disperse now they lost track of you. Right. Either they stop us, though. Uh, I should be able to talk my way out of it. Uh, just try not to do anything too suspicious near an officer, okay? Uh, I'll try. Alright, let's check out the profiles here. See, uh... Yep, Kashiwagi's dead. Let's see, wanted to bring Kiryu back to the to Let's see. Uh, the former captain of the Tojo clan, second patriarch of the Cosma family after its founder, Shintaro Cosma, Kiryu's adopted father. A moderate man who worked for the top floor of the Millennium Tower. Wanted to bring Kiryu back to the Tojo clan after Daigo was shot, but opposition from Hamazaki and Kanda caused a rift among the Tojo officers. Gunned down in a helicopter attack perpetrated by an unknown assailant while searching for the trail within the Tojo clan. Alright, let's see here. Alright, the Nishikiyama family. Let's see. Uh, Tsuyoshi Kanda, the third patriarch of the Nishiyama family and a Tojo clan lieutenant, aims to expand his influence throughout the entirety of Kamado via brutal methods. Firmly opposes Kashiwagi's suggestion of bringing Kiryu back, stating that he'll kill Kiryu with his own two hands. Alright, let's see. The Hakuro clan, one of the central families of the Tojo clan. Chairman Yoshitaka Mine. Alright, Mine. The chairman of the Hakuro clan and white collar Yakuza who amassed a great fortune through the stock market of real estate. He, he rose quickly through the Tojo clan ranks by gaining Daigo's trust with his financial prowess and clear, firm decision making skills. Approved the, uh, approved the Kashiwaki's plan to bring Kiryu back to stabilize the Tojo clan after Daigo was shot. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this guy, Hamazaki. Uh, Go Hamazaki. The patriarch of the Hamazaki family and a Tojo clan lieutenant known, uh, known most commonly by his nickname, the Emperor, uh, the Emperor of Hama. Uh, controls Yokohama's Chinatown, uh, Chinatown from the shadows. And, um, yeah, Majima's bored face here. Hmm. The patriarch of the Majima family and Tojo clan lieutenant. His erratic nature has earned the nickname of the Mad Dog of Shimano. Fights Kiryu countless times and eventually leaves the Tojo clan to form Majima Construction, but returns to the Tojo clan after Kiryu asks him to watch over Daigo. Alright, yep. And yeah, they're missing. Uh, yeah, they're missing the third piece. Uh, the missing piece. Uh, they're missing this little piece of the puzzle, Wesker. Yes, I'm normal. I am very normal. Uh, yeah, Tate, just please tell me we're close to this bar of yours here. Sorry, excuse me. This is the place, Kiryu. Wait. What? You surprised? Uh, just wait until you see the inside. Oh. Yeah, Serena. So, it looks like it reopened. 
あら、だってさ、今日はお友達もご一緒。ああ、ママ。うん。だってさ、ここは。や。ああ、昔お前がよく使っていたセレナだ。今、新しいママに買い取られて、様変わりしたけどな。だってさ、いつものやつでいい。うん。あとで若造も来るやつの分も頼むわはいうん<笑>ずいぶん若いままだなああでも度胸と器量はそんじゃそこらのババアよりもすげえ誰がババアですってはい聞かれてたかまあまあちょっとこいつに話があるんだ外しておいてもらえっかはいはいごゆっくり Oh, thank you. Who are all right? It's almost got the other. Tocho Motos has more salad than a Ajida. Ah, Shkashita de San. Those to Rega, no basho need to. Kazuki Karakita. Oh, my son, no Kotogara, Matajiki, and Yamaki Komarit in Janega to Otra. お、来たかブツはもうブツってそんな物騒な代物じゃないでしょあ、ガザナッツゲッダーどうぞこんな強いの無理ママ、俺のこと殺す気それより、水はいはいおよしよし、でかしたぞ偉そうに言わないでくださいデスクを雑用に使う新人がどこにいますかもう一つかやらいんだからそれはああお前に見せておく必要があると思ったな登場会の現幹部たちの写真だうんどうしてこれを<笑>実は私、こういうものでして。伊達さんが。新聞記者。ああ。ああ。それ、your reporter now。キリュウ。お前が巻き込まれている事件。実は今、俺が追っかけてる山と繋がってる。山。登場会。そして政治家、鈴木義信に絡む。沖縄リゾート開発。ここから先は危険な旅だお前さんには敵をよーく知っといてもらう必要がある少し時間をもらうぜ Well, we can already take two of them off the table here <clears throat> So, where do you want to start? Alright, let's go and start off with the obvious one here Tsuyoshi Kanda このスキンヘッドの男こいつが三代目西木山組組長、神田だ西木山組か、mm-hmm. お前と3年前戦ったあの錦山組の東大がこいつだ俺は今まで会ったことがないまあ無理もねえさこいつは2年前まで強姦で無所にぶち込まれていた喧嘩と女が大好きっていう典型的なイケイケで錦山が組長をしていた頃は鉄砲玉にもならねえほどのチンピラだったらしいどうしてそんな奴が組長に無所から出て以来こいつはカムロ町を中心に勢力を拡大していった徹底的な暴力路線でな2年前といや近江連合との抗争の後だ警察も登場会との距離を取りたがっていた時期にこいつは感激を縫うように島を拡大本権派の2代目風間組の島をどんどん奪い急成長していたこの男の目的はズバリ登場会の跡目だろうてめえが欲しいものは何があっても取るってやからだ女だろうと島だろうと欲しいものは強奪するとにかく力ずくで後先考えずに突っ走るじゃあ柏木さんを撃ったのあ,あ可能性は高いな。Yeah, no, Kanda、uh, doesn't exactly seem like the type of guy to be making、uh, these、uh, type of discreet power plays. If he was gonna make a move,、uh, like Ryuji, the guy's big, loud, and obnoxious. If he was gonna make a move, he'd make a big show of it.、So、this guy, on the other hand, Hamazaki. この AV 男優みたいな男、こいつは通称、浜の帝王。直系浜崎組組長の浜崎豪という男だ横浜か
ああ3年前の抗争事件の後あの中国系マフィアのジャカに代わって横浜を制圧したのがこの浜崎だこの男は結構裏が見えないやつでなどういうわけか島を奪ったはずの中国系の連中ともうまくやってるらしい、うんうん、あのジャカとああだがこいつが不思議なのはそれだけじゃねえ実はこいつの組構成員が10人程度しかいねえ10 guys 普通あのジャカ相手に横浜の島を奪い合うなら最低500いや1000以上の兵隊を持っていないと渡り合えないだがこいつの組はジャカと争うこともなくやすやすと横浜一帯を市中に収めた、うん、なぜそんなことがまあおそらく裏で中国本国のマフィアとつながっていて密輸の窓口や日本での資金運用なんかを引き受けてるんだろういいように利用されているだけなのかもしれないなマフィアとのつながりかまあ裏は取れないが今回の一件裏でリゾート絡みの利権が絡んでいるとしたら一番絵を描いた可能性があるのはこの男だろう中国のマフィアと連携してリゾートの利権を得ようとしたとまあカジノやらなんやらさらに裏があるのかもしれん All right, so yeah, Hamazaki's working with the, sna、uh, with the snake flower triad. And from what we saw in the footage here,、uh, Lao Kao Long's back in town. So yeah, follow Hamazaki,、uh, we'll find Kao Long. And、uh, yeah, they probably want a piece of the resort, like Dante said. Which leaves our third, our third guy here. The only one who was seen supporting Kiryu's uh, uh, taking control of the Tojo for some reason. Mine. <laughs> 直系博報会会長、ミネヨシタカってやつだ。ミネヨシタカか。港区を中心としたオフィス街にいるやつだ。とにかく若くて金を持ってる。高級会社を乗り回し、一見すると青年実業家って風貌だな。シテセンやインサイダーを使っての株取引と、不動産売買で巨万の富を得た。まあ、言ってみりゃ、インテリ極道の代表格的な男だ。なるほど。今、登場会の金はこいつで回っていると言っても過言じゃない。年間かなりの金がこいつから登場会に流れてる特に三代目錦山組の神田あたりはかなり峰から回してもらってるって感じだどうしてこの男が神田にこの峰という男数年前までは新興ベンチャーの立ち上げなんかをやってた普通の会社員だったそれをこっちの世界に誘ったのが武将上がりの神田だったらしい峰は神田の仲介を得て堂島大吾との杯を交わし登場会へ来たみたいだそれじゃあ神田とつながっている可能性もあるのかいや、ミネは六代目の信奉者だ。最近じゃ自分の国の力もあって、神田の後ろ盾も必要ない。神田のことを煙たがってるだろう。Well, yeah, given,、uh, given Kanda's personality,、uh, yeah, Mine definitely doesn't need him、uh, holding his hand anymore. Especially if he's got a hand of Dai-、uh, especially if he's got his、uh, voice of Daigo's ear. And yeah, Kanda's basically kicking himself for bringing this guy in.、Mm. And yeah, if Mine is supporting Kiryu, then Kanda, as the head of the Nishiyama family, is going to be gunning for both Kiryu and Mine. But yeah, it, or if,、uh, if Mine's bread and butter is in real estate, then yeah, he would probably definitely see the benefits of、uh, benefiting from both the,、uh, both the resort and the military base. All right, well, yeah, the other,、uh, the other two, Kashiwagi, well, he's dead, so. And we definitely know Majiba isn't planning anything. He wouldn't have any reason to. Alright. Kashiwagi san was Shino Magiwa, Orenita. Resort Kaihats no Ura de Liken or Nerat Teriatsga. Tojo Kai Nirto. Oremos Hofunda. Imano Tojo Kai de Korehodo Nega Kakerna, Kono Yonin Kreda. Well, no, only three. カシワギさんはもう一つ俺に言ったその裏切り者は大悟を撃った男ともつながっていると大悟を撃った男だとダイゴそれとリゾートの買収候補地の土地を持っていた中原という男を撃った犯人だこれ一体どういうことだいいやっぱこれ死んじまったお前の親代わりだった風間じゃねえか俺にもまだわからない大悟と中原を撃ったという
この風間のおやっさんに似た男俺を襲った黒いスーツの白人たちそれにさっきのヘリの襲撃敵は一体どこにいるんだまあ今はとにかく登場界の裏切り者を探すしか道はねえようだなああ俺はこの絵の男が誰なのかを追ってみるお前は柏木を殺す可能性が一番高い神田大わかった All right, we settled. I'll dig around for anything on the man to sketch. You be after Conda. Right. Rumor has it, Conda gets his boys to haul up a girl to his hotel room every night. If anyone's gonna know where to find him, it's them. Mama, you mind if we use your bars as sort of base of operations? Hmm? Ah, don't worry. We won't disrupt your business or anything.、Uh, just, stick, uh, just stick us in the back room and forget we even exist. Well, well Mama? Hmm, I guess you are one of my best customers. Oh, ah, what the heck. Go ahead.、Uh, appreciate it, Mama.、Uh, just stay out of my customer's hair, okay? Of course, of course.、Uh, sorry about this, Mama. Oh, it's nothing. This is the least I could do with how often Date san frequents by bar. It's rare you don't see him in here, a glass of whiskey in hand. <laughs>、uh, besides, Kiyu san,、uh, you're kind of my type. You're what?、Uh, do I hear a tinge of jealousy in your voice, Date san?、Ah, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Aw, you're blushing. Kiryu, <laughs> you, can you please just go find Kanda already? <laughs>、uh, don't let them bully you while I'm gone. Alright, yes, well, we got access to Dusarena. Alright, so let's take a look here and see if any of the,、uh, the profiles changed here. Let's see. Let's see. Controls Yokohama's Chinatown from the shadows and is said to have ties to the Snake Flower Triad. Let's see here. Oh. Mm hmm. Let's see.、Uh, so, yeah, Mina's、uh, been funding Kanda. Hmm. The most likely culprit of Kashiwaki's murder. Eh.、Yeah. Let's see, Date. Oh, oh yeah, you know, Wakazo. A young, news, a young news desk worker at Chihila News and Date's boss. Even though Date does always treat him as such, currently pursuing a lead on the,、uh, on the link between politicians and Yakuza and the Okinawa Resort Project. Let's see, currently pursuing multiple collusion, a possible collusion between the Tojo clan and the Minister of Transport Suzuki. And let's see, Mama. Uh, the owner of Serena, a small bar in Tenkaichi Street. After growing up dreaming of opening a bar in Kamurocho, she worked as a hostess and eventually earned enough money to buy Serena when it was up for sale.、But、she has many regulars who come to see her, but the bar isn't quite turning a profit yet. Oh,、uh, great, I smell an opportunity for a side quest. Oh, great, those, those two. All right, quick save here. Alright, let's take a look here. Boo boo. Mm, pleasure to meet you. My name is Wakazo. I'm Dr. San's boss, if you couldn't tell.、Uh, which you probably couldn't. 
Can I get you anything, kitty son? We sell. I'll dig around for anything on this map. Alright, yep. I got a new locker key. Alright, uh, Kitty, you got any, like, club soda or something to get the blood out of your... Okay, good. Hmm? Mush, mush. Hello? Uh, oh, god damn it. そうじゃないんですか。うん。うん。じゃあどうしたんだ。今俺。カムロ町にいるんですよ。何？か、no。どういうことだ。兄貴は俺を沖縄に残したかったんでしょうけど、俺やっぱり自分の手で親父を弾
Uh, why should I have to do that? The crazy game frail was in a bad place for a while there. Uh, I thought I'd cheer up by telling her I was a big corporate hotshot. I've been nothing but trouble since I was a little kid. So here and I've become an upstanding member of society thrilled her to no end. And you really think that line to her face is gonna make Oh my god. You didn't learn a damn thing, did you, pal? Now she's out in the hospital on her way here to see how I've been doing. But she found out I was lying. I get where you're coming from, but you should just be honest with her. Yeah, I know, but I think there are times where a lie is justified. Necessary, even. So please, back me up on this, and for my granny's sake. Well, if you're that dead set on the idea, we'll have to make sure your lies are tight. Yeah, don't worry, I'm ready to take anything she throws at me. So, what do you say? Alright, let's see here. Alright, here we are. The quest is, anything for Grandma's love. Okay, I suppose I'll take a supporting role in the performance of your lifetime. For your grandmother's sake, you understand. <laughs> oh, thank you so much! Oh, you don't know how much this will help me! Uh, come over this way! The Granny's waiting! <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to somebody, Granny. Uh, this here is my, uh, my employee, Mr... Cosmic key to you. I work for the president. Ah. My, Masahiko must certainly keep you busy. Masahiko? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you, kitty? You good? Uh, forget my first name, huh? <laughs> you could have told me, dumbass. Since I'm Masahiko's grandmother, I'm Masahiko's grandmother, Shizu. You'll be giving me a tour of Kamen Show today, hmm? How exciting. Yeah. But, my goodness, don't businessmen wear ties these days? Uh, actually... We try not to use AC, and we try not to use AC. We try not to use our air conditioner. Ah, uh, yes, to conserve energy in summer. And that's a popular idea nowadays, but in winter? Aren't you cold, dear? Oh god, we're still in winter? Uh, yes, even in winter, our president's very ecologically minded. Ah. Come to think of it, even the Prime Minister goes without a tie now and again. It's so hard for me to imagine this boy running a company headquarters in such a big, mm. impressive building. <laughs> I've been working hard here in Tokyo, Granny. <laughs> How about you show me around the office, then? I'd love to meet all your employees. Well, about that, uh, can you can? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, it's off limits soon to an accident. Uh, there was an accident, and now it's off limits. Oh. You see that kind of thing on the TV sometimes. Tokyo can be such a dangerous place. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Say, Granny, you must be hungry. Uh, why don't I go to my favorite yakiniku place? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, why not? Uh, go ahead and show me the way, sweetie. <laughs> I come here all the time. Their food's out of this world. Oi. Huh, imagine running you into a place like this. You got that 100 grand ready? Oh, uh, uh... What's going on here? I borrowed 80000 from this loan shark when I lost money on the horses the other day. Oh, God. Could you just make something up so he'll leave us alone? Please? <laughs> Come on, 100000 including interest. Pay up now or we'll just keep growing, pal. And let's see. All right, yeah, let's just pay him up and keep him quiet. We're in the middle of something here. Take this and leave us alone. <laughs> let's see here. Yep, that makes 100,000 yen. Uh, Alright, thank you kindly. Eh? Yeah, what's this? Are you borrowing money? Well, you know that I'll bring you nothing but trouble. I know, I know. Ding, ding, ding. Her grandson's always scolding me about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready for some Yakiniku? Yep, Granny. It'll make you strong. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day my Masahiko treated me to a meal. <laughs> Oh, what are you talking about, Granny? Oh, this won't be the last time the grub will be on me. I'll go pay. Uh, you two wait here. Thanks so much for today. It was so nice of you to play along with Masahiko's little white lie. Yeah, no, didn't take too long to figure that one out, now did it? Huh? <laughs> oh, I know, all right. I know he was lying to me. But he's trying so darn hard to please me, it's hard for me to be mad at him. Sorry, I guess I blew it. Here, take this souvenir from my hometown. It's a small gesture of thanks from an old woman. Ooh, sushi! 
This is yours, too. Uh, you covered Masahiko's debt, didn't you? Uh, thank you for that. I've added a little for your trouble. Hmm. Well, the bill's all paid. Uh, shall we move on to our next destination? Sir, uh, I have some work to attend to. You and your grandmother will have to go on without me. Huh? Uh, but... You'd be the best grandson you could be. Got it. Yes, sir. Alright, well, that's all taken care of. Grand looks pretty happy. I guess the occasional lie isn't always so bad after all. Yeah, just don't make a habit of it, alright? Alright, and plopped ourselves right next to another side quest. So who's the wise guy who managed to sit, uh, smack in the chops? Uh, leave it alone, Naniki. He's not such a bad guy. Uh, you just don't get it, do you? Uh, get to school even once in our line of work, and it's all over for you. I can't just let you soil our profession like that. Aniki, if you could just chill. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's you. Uh, so this is the guy who clocked you, huh? Uh, he don't look like much. And you are? I'm his Aniki. You know, like an older brother figure. Uh, we got a real similar pick going on, see? So you're another Mr. Try and Hit Me? <laughs> Not quite. I'm in the running business, so they call me... Mr. Try and Flee Me. Mr. Try and Flee Me? Okay, now I've heard everything here. Oh boy, what the crap sauce is this? Right, yeah, Mr. Try and Flee Me. Damn straight! You haul ass and I come chasing after you! Ditch me successful and I pay out the price money! That's an interesting concept. So what do you, uh, so what do the customers also go to uh, go and say blah, 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 beep beep when they run uh, when they successfully ditch you? What is this like some wily e. coyote bullshit here? Yeah, well I'd trample you in a second if we were limited to this here parking lot, so I expanded the course to the entirety of Commodore Shore. Sounds simple enough. Well, don't underestimate me, chump. I won the eight hundred meter back in high school. That means I'm a certifiable racing man. Oh, and it'll cost you 5,000 yen up front. I'll run me until the timer's up, and I'll pay you 70,000 yen in price money. So, how about it? Wanna give it a go? All I have to do is ditch him to get 70,000 yen? Not a bad deal. Alright, I'll take your challenge. That's what I like to hear. Now head over that 5,000 and get ready to run. Here you go. Okay, looks like it's all here. Again, your job's to run around the city while keeping away from me. Do it long enough and I'll pay you that cool cash money. And no slacking off, because I'll catch you in a heartbeat. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see. Uh -huh. Keep running until your pursuer is too tired to chase you. If the pursuer's gauge runs out before yours, you win. The pursuer's gauge will gradually decrease during the chase. Out of my way! Out of my way! <gasps> Damn! That's it for me! I won! Yay! Uh, uh. Looks like I won. How oh. in the hell? Did you outrun me? You must have done some crazy intensive train to pull that off. Well, here's your price money. 70 big ones. That's 70 yen by my count. Uh, that's 70, uh, 70 thousand yen by my count. It's all there. Now you see how I get managed to beat your, uh, beat your, uh, uh, beat your friend's ass here? This is still got a ways to go. But I'll get you next time. Alright, let's see here. 
right, the next available side quest is here. Uh, all right, let's say by Bontom, if I remember right. I cannot believe I managed to get I managed to get that lucky. I hope he's not hiding something from me. But even if he is, what can I possibly do? Uh, bartender, I'll have a drink of you, please. Very well, sir. Here you are, sir. Mm, please enjoy. Um, but you happen to be curious on by any chance? That's me. Uh, who's asking? Sorry to come up and talk to you so suddenly, but I'm a real uh, Kosato. I heard about you from my husband. Sato? Your husband? Yes. In the past, he used to work for a particular family. I'm sure you know what kind. Well, he was always going on and on about this amazing guy from Kamurocho. Oh, so he was a Yakuza. Okay. You showed me your picture in a magazine once, and that's how I recognized you. I see. So, what did you want from me? My husband, he's... I think he's planning to murder someone. And please, you've got to help him somehow. Uh, slow down a minute. Uh, what makes you think he wants to do that? Well, in fact, when he married me, he was able to wash his hands of the business and work a normal job. He started working part-time at a restaurant, and we've been able to make ends meet with both of us bringing home a check. But late one night, I saw him alone with a knife, sharpening in the shadows. He must have thought no one was watching. Not only that, but he's been making these secretive phone calls to someone I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's one of his old associates, and that's who gave him the order. Oh, boy. Come to think of it, he's been doing a lot of strange things lately. Uh, we've been eating out a lot more. He buys me clothes, he keeps taking me on these trips, but we don't have that kind of money. Uh, none of it added up. Oh, so you're thinking he might have gotten back into the business and making a little extra cash. And then it dawned on me. My husband must be working another job behind my back. That's the only explanation. He promised me on our wedding day uh, that he'd never make me cry again. But now he goes and does this? Maybe he's been pulled into something against his will. Well, there's no way for me to know that. Uh, but if that really is true, well, I'd do anything to get him out of it. How can he forget our wedding vows? I thought he was a changed man. Oh, boy. I'm begging you, Kiryu-san. Uh, find out if my husband's up to something vile, and if he is, put a stop to it. Uh, you're the only one who can. Well... All right, let's go and take a look at this. All right, I suppose I could be of some help. Uh, what exactly is it that you want me to do? Oh, thank you. So, my husband should be hitting the Mahjong parlor at about this time. You should be able to spot him immediately, since he's usually covered head to toe in bright red sportswear. A man in red sportswear. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is find out where my husband keeps going when he's done gambling. And when you figure it out, would you please give me a call? So all you want to know is where he's been shuffling off to. Okay, I think I could do that. Thank you. And truly, I don't know who else I could turn to at this point. Alright, so let's head to the Mahjong parlor then. Let's see, Mahjongs and... Ah, there we are. But on the way there, we can start another side quest. So let's go do that. Ah! Ow! Oops, uh, sorry about that. You okay? Yes. Huh? Oh, my wallet's gone! Hey! You stole it, didn't you? Huh? Don't play dumb with me! I know you took my wallet! Empty your pockets right now or I'm calling the cops! What? Oh, why would I need to do that? Mm. Alright, let's see here. Kitty you the pickpocket? Alright, let's see. Ch oh. Oh. 
I knew it. That's my wallet, isn't it? Is it? Not sure why I have it, but I certainly didn't steal it from you. A liar! How else would it have ended up in your pockets? Thief! Somebody help! Now hold on a second here. Okay, I see how this works here. What's wrong, Mariko? This guy bothering you? Oh, Tara, thank goodness you're here. Now this guy stole my wine. Oh, yeah? He looks like a thug, all right. Uh, yeah, and Kiri's like, yeah, but I see how this goes. Looks like we have to bash their skulls in. Yeah, but that's not Sir Ryan in public. Why don't we go sell this over there, old man? Now then, hand over Mariko's wallet. Take it. Well, like I said, I didn't steal it. Looks like everything's still in order. I'm not missing any cards or cash. It looks like everything's still in order. I'm not missing any cards or cash. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. You're obviously a crook, and I'll bet the cops will give you hell if we called them. Pickpocketing is no small offense. Plus, we caught you red-handed, and we got witnesses to back us up. But seeing as we don't want to disturb the peace any more than we already have, I'm willing to let you off easy. Mariko got her wallet back, and that's what matters. No need to involve the police to complicate things, right? <sighs> So here's how this is gonna play out. You pay up, let's say a uh, hundred thousand, and we pretend this never happened. Got it? You want me to pay you a hundred thousand yen? I'm not giving you that much money for a wall and steal. The only thing I'm giving you is a trip to the hospital. What? You head too far up your ass to hear what I'm saying? If you like the view so much, maybe I should shove your head up there so far and take a crowbar to pry it out. Or you can pay me and keep your head intact. Or, again, I'll go and shove your head so far up your ass you can see what you had for dinner last night. Ah, oh, Tiger Drop, I miss you. What the? What was that essence of rolling trick I learned? Come on. There we go, Tiger Drop. <laughs> what the hell? Now, how about you admit you were trying to scam me? Yeah, all right. I'm sure you figured it out already. A Mariko plants her wall in somebody's back or whatever, makes a big deal out of getting robbed, and convinces them to settle things with a payment. If they don't pay up, we come out to sell it and set them straight. A lot of people panic when they find out they have somebody else's wallet. It's easy to make them pay a settlement when they're off worked up. How'd you get away with this lame scam for so long? It worked out fine until you showed up. 
let's just go, Toru. Uh, this trick isn't going to work anymore now that we've been caught. Uh, maybe we could just find real jobs? I'm so afraid that one day we're going to try to scam someone dangerous who doesn't fall for it. You should listen to her. Trying to pull crap like this at Kamurocho is a good way to get yourself killed. Uh, quit now before you're bleeding out in an alley. Uh, don't let you be on my own trail, man! I don't care if you want to ruin your own life, but it's not right to drag your girlfriend down with you. I'm giving you a lecture for her sake, not for yours. Look at how scared she is. Can't you tell that she doesn't want anything to do with these schemes anymore? Huh? Is it true, Mariko? It's just... And the longer you keep this up, the more danger she'll be in. The money isn't worth her life. Uh, maybe you're right. Guess I've got some thinking to do. Let's get out of here, Mariko. <sighs> there we go. How could Kanda do that to Kashiwaki, son? You're not planning on going after the Nishiyama family, are you? Um, Fort Chairman, uh, welcome. Well, we don't know whether it was the Nishiyama family. Don't jump the gun. Uh, but it's just gotta be Kanda. I never really liked him in the first place. I mean, uh, the guy swiped our territory right from under us. Well, the boss let Slank because he didn't want any trouble between the families. And this is how that pig repays him? I'll kill him for this! Leave this to me. I don't want you running off and making a fool out of yourself. Kashiwaki-san wouldn't have wanted it either. Understood. Still, I'll never forget Kanda for what he did. I mean, yeah, to be fair, we don't even know if it is Kanda or not, but... Well, yeah, he just seems a little bit too obvious for this sort of thing. Yeah, no, if anything, he probably would have just, uh, just uh, kicked the door down, uh, made a big uh, speech and show out of it, and probably just beat uh, Kashiwagi with a, uh, with a hammer or something like that. Again... He prefers some... Well, I mean, yeah, that isn't exactly... Uh, I mean, he doesn't exactly seem that type of guy to go and do some friggin' uh, 80s action movie bullshit like this. But then again, he might. I don't know. Okay. Now that's all cleared up, let's see what the next side quest has for us. Alright, let's just go and save in front of the Millennium Tower. Not exactly sure what that green orb there is for, but, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, here, Theater Avenue. Let's see here. Oh yeah, and there's still that whole thing with the Mahjong parlor. Right, right, right. Oh. Rumor has it uh, that uh, Kashiwaki of the Cosmo family was killed. I don't turn the tide in Nishiyama family's favor. This goes to show that Kamurocho can be tamed by weaklings like the sixth chairman of Kashiwaki. It needs someone who ain't afraid to get rough. Someone like Kanda. Mm -hmm. But the Nishikiyama family's broke as shit. They don't have the power or the resources to lead an organization like the Tojo clan. Not anymore. They got the support of the Haku uh, the Hakuho clan now. Mina, the chairman, owes Kanda big time, so they should all have, uh, should have all the money they need. No kidding? I'm surprised he was able to win Mina over. Yeah, again, well, Mina kind of owes him one, says he brought him into the whole business in the first place, so... 
More friggin' comfy souls. Why do I have so many comfy souls? I do not need them. Ugh. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. oh my goodness, are you a fan of you, Sama, too? You? Oh, him again? You, Sama. Uh, don't tell me you never heard of you, Sama, the Korean megastar, Ilyujin. Uh, what planet are you from? Oh, right. Ilyujin. Guys. So, you, Sama, is doing a special live performance of Winter Gift today here on Kamurocho. Uh. He'll be coming out soon, uh, but there are a ton of other women trying to hog his attention. At this rate, I'll never get his autograph. Oh, I know. How about you get his autograph for me? I'm sure it'll be fun. His autograph, eh? All right, fine. All right. Oh yeah, this one, a uh, Ill in Theater Square. Let's see here. I'll pay you for your trouble, of course. All you have to do is take this up and you'll and get it signed. I'll get in position for some nice shots of you, Sama. Yes, I'll go get his autograph. I put, approach Iu Jin for the front, talk to him and get his autograph. And surrounded by his female fans. To get his autograph about bumping into them, bump into them uh bump into them three times though, and you'll lose your chance. Alright, just uh... I made it. Give me your autograph, please. Wait a minute. Is that... You kill you, son, no? Now that I think about it... Yep. Yeah, remember you, uh, you helped save his ass for his fans uh, uh, about uh, two or three years ago, back during the whole uh, Omi Alliance incident? But didn't we meet a few years ago? Uh, yes, but we meet before, Kiryu-san. Uh, you show me around Kamurocho, then. Uh, nice to see you again. <laughs> I could say the same. Uh, you come to see me today? Uh, you could say that. Uh, why don't we talk over a drink later? Uh, that sounds good. <laughs> you take good care of me before. Oh, 
Right. Uh, someone asked me to have you sign this. Uh, would you mind? Huh? Uh, hey! Ah, oh, crap. Here we go. Uh, who are you people? Uh, you're Il Jin, ain't you? That Korean star makes shitloads of money, right? Uh, what you want from me? Uh, let me tell you, my boss's wife is a real big fan. It might even be your biggest pretty boy. Oh, that nice. I was thinking you could come with us and we could give her a little private interview right now. Well, I have big performance to do now. Very sorry, but must be going. Maybe you didn't understand. Or are you trying to disrespect us? You're coming whether you like it or not, Hotshot. The man said no. Who the hell is this prick? Uh, you're fucking with the wrong crew, pal. <laughs> you are the ones who are fucking with the wrong guy there, amigo. Get you? Oh, Jin getting on the thing. Ah, there we go. There we go. Son of a bitch! Well, let's get out of here! I think you'll match. I don't mention it. Oh, I forget to give you autograph. Here, please take. Wow, that fight was amazing! You're the best, you Sama! The best! I better hand, it this, uh, better hand over this autograph. Uh, do you have the autograph? Yep. Well done. And here's a little something for all your trouble. You've accomplished something great today. I'd say you're an honorary you Sama groupie. Let's keep being the best fans we could be. Uh, did... I'm already friends with the guy, but like actual friends with him, uh, but uh, okay, fine, whatever, cool. I'm pretty sure if, they, if I told him that, they'd probably try and eat me just to go and. Ugh, never mind. Don't want to know, don't care. Alright, anyways, saving and then back on the side quest train here. Alright, so let's see what this next quest is all about. So, uh, get out there and find me a stand-in for Kuna-chan! Uh, but even if I do find somebody, it's way too late! Uh, then how the hell are we supposed to film this thing? Uh, without our star, we're nothing! And what am I supposed to do about it? Uh, I feel terrible about all this. You give you me the starry roll, then I have to go and break my arm in the men's room. Hmm? Uh, hey... What about him? Oh, he's perfect! Uh, something wrong? You wanna be in a movie, Hotshot? A movie? Uh, why me? Well, Kuda here was our lead, but he got injured during rehearsal. And without a lead, our hopes of completing this film are pretty much screwed. Uh, hi there. Uh, the name's Double Hero Kuda. Uh, the name's Double. Uh, Noboru Kuda. Uh, uh, Noboru Kuda Rizaka, or Kuda for short. Okay, I think I get the picture here. Anyway, uh, you just got the face that Bill we're looking for. In fact, I think you fit this role like a glove. So, what about it? Being in a movie might not be so bad. Uh, Alright, uh, cue up the, uh, the set then, Mr. DeVille. I'm ready for my starring debut. <clears throat> okay, I'll do it. Hot damn! That just made my day! Uh, what kind of role is it? It's an over-the-top action scene, so basically, we need you to beat the crap out of some thugs and make it look pretty. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I can do it. <laughs> yep, I can do that. Yeah, what's your name, anyway? I'm Kiryu. All right, then, Kiryu Jan. Uh, let's get you right to the studio. Um, don't you need a full name there to go and make the checkout to? Uh, or though you could just go and address to his friend Cash. And oh my God, uh, look at you, Kiryu Jan. That's exactly the image we're going for. Unless there's some kind of samurai flick. Here's the script. 
And you only have to worry about Tatsu's, uh, the hero's lines. Memorize them as best you can. All right, let's see here. Uh, Silver Screen Dragon. Let's see here. Let's see here. Tatsu bursts into Yamashiro's compound. What the hell do you want? I come to avenge my father. You got some nerve busting in here. So you want to see your precious father, huh? Oh, I'll send you to beat him. In hell! Uh, let's see. Uh, takes out Yash uh, Yamashiro's thugs in this order. Hanai, short hair, charges at Tatsu, and Tatsu smashes him head on. Once firing up, Tatsu then boils on Toru... Uh, uh, Toru... Uh, and uh, Toriyumi, long hair. Next, he shuts down uh, Matsukaze, bearded, who's in a rage, and finally get, uh, beats Ozuki Ball to finish him off. Let's see here. Yep. Short hair, long hair, bearded, and bald. Let's see. Very impressive. Uh, finally, one on one like a real man. <laughs> we can discuss that once you defeat my finest assassin. Assassin, get out of here! This is the man who killed your father. He's more skilled than you can imagine. So prepare to die. Let's see. He reaches a series of raging techniques. Let's see. Use the following heat actions. Wall crush. Komaki sword slash. As it's a brick breaking with the Daruma. All right. Take out the henchman. I'm finally smashing a Daruma doll over the last one's head with a karate shot to finally avenge his father. Let's see. A bunch of worthless dogs? I suppose I have to deal with you myself. No need to worry. I'll make quick work of you. Nonsense! You'll regret you ever crossed me when I'm through with you! Let's see. Tatsu's beat with a hatchman. Uh, uh-huh. Listen, you work for me. I'll make it rich beyond your wildest dreams. Sound good? Let's forget about this whole thing with your father and think about what's best for tomorrow. And yep. Got the lights out yet? You bet. So, a lone warrior bursts into the local authorities' compound to avenge his dead father. Looks like a typical, a typical samurai beat movie. You bet. Feel free to add a if you can't remember it word for word, just as long as it works well. Uh, saying the lines as written can sound wooden sometimes. Also, do your best with the action sequences. Uh, performing them as written would be nice, but we'll still pay you either way. Got it. Let's get this thing rolling then! We're all set. Alright, Kitty Chan, uh, give us a good show. What the hell do you want? You killed my father, and I want payback. You killed my father, and I want payback. You got some nerve busting in here. So, you want to see your precious father, huh? Oh, I'll send you to meet him. In hell! Alright, short hair first. All right, long hair, right?
very impressive. All right, fight me one on one like a real man. All right, all right, fight me to the death like a man. Fight me to the death like a man. <laughs> we can discuss that once you defeated my finest assassin. Assassin, get out of here. Um, okay, where the, <laughs> I thought this was a samurai piece. Where the hell did this guy come from? This is the man who killed your father, and he's more skilled than you can imagine. So prepare to die. Oh god, get out of the way! Get out of the way, you stupid sword guy!
Phew. All right, there we go. Bunch of worthless dogs. I suppose I have to deal with you myself. I'll make you apologize to my father. In hell! Huh? Nonsense! You'll regret ever cross me when I'm through with you! Alright, let him get me down to red and then beat him. Alright, just let me get down to red, and then I can finally go, uh, go whole hog on this guy. Now we're good. There we go. Listen, work for me, and I'll make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. So good. Let's forget about this whole thing with your father and think about what's best for tomorrow. 
Keep your money. I want justice. <laughs> so this is the legendary Tatsu Kamuro. And scene. Okay, good. That's a wrap, people. All right, good job, everyone. How was I? You were brilliant, Kitty chan Especially the ad lib. I loved the ad lib and the impact. It was like I was watching a real thing. Really? Uh, I didn't think my delivery was convincing enough for a samurai film. Uh, maybe I put a little too much me in there. Uh, samurai film? Well, uh, whatever. Anyway, I've got your payment waiting. Uh, go get changed first. Aw, I wanted to keep the outfit. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, buddy, keep your mouth shut about this, okay? okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, みんなもそれがいいと思うだろ。よくないです。あの、なんなんだよ。全員揃って。すまんな。俺も映画には興味がない。これで失礼させてもらう。はい。ごめんなさい、ごめんなさい。はい。いや、ごめんなさい。え、ごめんなさい。え、ごめんなさい。え、ごめんなさい。え、ごめんなさい。え、ごめ
All right, forget about that one then. Your next target is who's that guy? I can't hear what they're saying. Now they're splitting up. What should I do? Uh, let's see. Follow the guy with the glasses there. I'll follow him for a while. You're stalking some girl, aren't you? Excuse me? But don't be ridiculous! Right, right. Deny it all you want, Pop. Uh, just leave this town nice and quiet like it, everybody will be happy. What? Hmm? So what'll it be, pervert? Are you gonna leave peacefully, or do I gotta rough you up a bit? Oh, this is outrageous! I've had enough of this city! Living here alone was a big, big mistake! <laughs> What the heck is going on? Is that guy really a stalker? <laughs> well, that's that. Better go get my payment now. Looks like he's after a stalker too. Maybe I ought to follow him for a while. Hmm? What the f- What the- The guy from before! Son of a bitch! Never thought there'd be another stalker! What the hell are you talking about? Well, you're my target, you damn skinhead! Uh, okay, what the hell's going on here? Uh, hey! You! You're... Kia son! I mean, uh, these the guys who've been following you around? Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on a second there! Uh, this girl hired me to track down a stalker! What? What? It's true. I hired him to do the same thing you're doing, Kitty-san. Uh, so that means, uh... Hey, uh, come on, guys. Uh, hold it right there. Oh, what now? What is going on here? Daddy? Daddy? What? Oh. Hey, that pervert in glasses is a stalker. I already told you that's not the case. I'm Emmy's father, you big buffoon. And this man's not a stalker either. I hired him to keep an eye on Emmy to make sure no suspicious men were sniffing about. So, who's the stalker? There is no stalker! I don't know. Oh my god. These past three days, Emmy's been approached by 17 people, including you people. Most of them have been street bankers and the like. Oh wait, you were tracking stuff like that? <laughs> What father wouldn't? And seven of the twelve shots you've been to were restaurants. Uh, don't you think you've been eating too much lately? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the stalker, dumbass. Especially yesterday, when you ordered an enormous Sunday. Have you been getting enough exercise? Yeah. And those clothes. Uh, don't you think that outfit's a bit too revealing? Uh, this is exactly why I'm so worried about you. I mean, the day before yesterday, a young man was hitting on you. Uh, what if I unnoticed it? Uh, are you listening to me, Emmy? Yeah. And I told you not to hang your underwear up to dry outside. I mean, the whole world can see your laundry hanging out there. Aww. Daddy, please, that's enough. <laughs> Emmy, uh, hold on. Why do you know that much about her? Because I follow her like a shadow. How else is she going to stay safe in the city? You're an idiot. For three days straight? <clears throat> of course. I'm her, I am her father, after all. I can't leave her alone in this crazy city. Uh, is there something wrong? Get the f get the hell out of here, asshole! I am so so sorry. It's not much, but please take it. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry about this whole mess. My dad caused a whole lot of trouble for you all. Yeah, don't put it. Don't put this on me, sweetie. It's because of how reckless you are. But this is exactly why I told you that living alone down here was a bad idea. Well, just as long as everything's okay. I'll just leave you two to, to settle this amongst yourselves. Yeah. Of course everything's okay. You don't think I let anything happen to my Emmy, do you? Uh, Daddy, why don't you stop doing this? 
I can't help it, sweetie. Well, you know I worry so much about you. But that's no excuse. Emmy! Some people just can't let go of their kids. Oh, boy. All right, there's that bullshit dealt with. So let's go and search for some new bullshit. Okay, the Mahjong Parlor. Got it. All right, let's take a cap down there, and oh yeah, there's apparently another side quest to go and take care of. Let's see, do I have any recovery items here? What do you think you're doing? You think you could just waltz on out of here with that? What? I mean, shoplifting? At your age? Or you should be ashamed of yourself. I think you're making a mistake here. I haven't taken anything at all. Yeah, that's what they all say. Well, why don't you just serve and save us both the trouble hand over the goods? Well, still think I'm a shoplifter? No, I don't. Sorry to put you through all that. Well, one of the part-timers must have made a mistake. Regardless, that's no excuse to be embarrassing a valuable customer. Here, please accept this along with our sincerest apologies. And don't be so quick to judge next time. I'll try, sir. But you must understand that shoplifting has been absolutely out of control lately. Even with our high-tech security cameras, the thieves are still getting away. Sometimes it's makeup, other times it's the latest toy or gadget. They're practically robbing us blind, and I simply refuse to tolerate it any further. Sounds like you got it pretty rough. I really hate to ask this, especially after what I just, ha just happened, but would you mind catching some of these morons on our behalf? Huh? Why would you ask me? Well, those hooligans are already familiar with my staff and security, but if a stranger like you were to do a stakeout, then I'd never suspect a thing. Now, please, you've got to help us somehow. I'd be willing to give you compensation, uh, uh, give you compensation, of course. You're going to earn part-time wages just standing around. So you want me to do undercover security? All right, fine. I could do that, as long as it's just staking out the area. If anything, I'm cut out for this type of job. Oh, you're really serious? Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, come on inside and I'll fill you in on the details. Let's see. This aisle gets hit pretty often, what with all the magazines, makeup, and other expensive items. Really? Hey, even though it's out in the open like this? Well, at this angle, it's hard to see from the registers. Plus, makeup's so small that it's easy to steal no matter where it is. And I guess it's popular to sell those to friends and such. People really do that? Sheesh, what is this world coming to? 
Anyway, I need you to keep watch right here, and if you see anyone suspicious, confront them before they leave the, they leave the store. Think you can do that? Yeah, if I see somebody trying to pull something, I'll get it up. I'll, I'll get I'll get all up in their face, no problem. That's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, there's a lot of shoplifting around this time of day, so I'm sure you'll find someone if you watch closely enough. Now look, now go get these bastards. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll let you know when the time's up. Uh, good luck. Okay, so there are three customers in here. A young girl looking at makeup, a young guy looking at manga, and a businessman looking at bento boxes. One of these people could very well be a shoplifter. Convenience stores do sell pretty decent makeup after all. How wonderful. She's on her way out. What should I do? She doesn't quite fit the image of a shoplifter. Sweet! They got the new issue I've been looking for. Aha! He's on his way out. What should I do? Hold it right there, Buster. <laughs> Buster, I don't believe you pay for that. What? Empty out your pockets. Let's see what you got. Oh, shit. Aha, uh -huh. what's this? I haven't seen you pay for that yet. I uh, was just about to take it to the register. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me about it in the office. Or you could tell that to the police if you prefer. Well, I just... I... Uh, fuck! Bingo! Looks like we caught him red-handed. Uh, say, would you mind keeping watch a little longer? Uh, you know, in case anyone else manages to slip through the cracks while I'm occupied. Alright, I'll stay at my post for a little longer. I'm so sick of these bento lunches. He's on his way out. What should I do? No, I doubt I'd be the one to shoplift anything. I really appreciate all the help you've given me. I can't believe you found a criminal in such a short time. Uh, you've been a tremendous help. Guess I have a knack for finding people like that. Here's your day's pay. Uh, just a little something for your trouble. Thanks again. I hope you'll help us again in the future if something else comes up. Eh, yeah, well, just go and accuse me of shoplifting one more time and see what happens. Alright, somebody's coming down. Maybe it's the husband of that lady I spoke with at Bontown. Can't believe I friggin' lost again! I just do not have any luck before work! He's covered in red sportswear, alright. That's gotta be the guy I'm looking for. Hold on. Yep. Leaving in a few minutes. I have a meeting to you on your own for dinner tonight. Jeffy's friend Sam is coming over. Um, so... Yeah, one advantage over the PS5 has over the PS4, you can actually mute the microphone properly. Alright, anyways. Trying to see what he's up to. Oh, thankfully these guys don't turn around. Hey, I'm a derpy walker, you boop boop.
I was trying to break you. Finally found a good landmark. A convenience store. I'm not in front of it now. A convenience store. That's a pretty big clue to go by. Ah, oh, crap. Maybe the M store on Shifukuchu Street. And you can see the Millennium Tower from there, uh, from there too. What could it be up to in there? I'm sure his wife would like to know. It's cute of you. Uh-huh. Right near Smile Burger. That's right. You'll recognize it when you get here. Oh, well, now what? Yeah. Hey, asshole! I know you've been following me, so just tell me what you want already. Hey, hold on. Uh, you got it all wrong. Yeah, that's what they all say. Well, too bad for you, because there's no way in hell you're dragging me back to that life. I'll fight you tooth and nail if I have to. Oh, boy. All right, let's get ready for it, slugger. Tiger drop save, uh, solves everything. Damn it all. Should have never set foot in Commodore Zone to begin with. I knew I get dragged back in. Relax, I'm not here to drag you into anything. Huh? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, don't tell me. Kiryu you must be Kiryu-san. Wow, I'm standing face to face with a legend. I used to be in the business. I used to be in the business too, you know. I heard all kinds of crazy stories about you, man. Uh, you were like a god. Uh, but then you retired right after you were made fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. That's actually what inspired me to leave the business myself. Well, that's all fine and good, but I need you. I need to know what you've been up to. Your wife's been worrying about you. Huh? She has. Well, I guess there is one thing I haven't managed to tell her yet. Think you can keep a secret? You see, I was asked to be a chef at the restaurant I work part time, so I start going to cooking school. Oh, so that's what this is about. The boss has to get on full time if I get me a cook's license. To me, that's a golden opportunity. Well, we've been wanting to have some kids soon, and so I figured having a proper salary was the best way to prepare. So you've been sneaking off to do. Uh, so you've been sneaking off to cooking school, is that it? Well, I ain't my intention to be sneaky. I mean, sure, the school my boss recommended is a rundown building with no sign out front, but the teacher there is world class. Then what's with the late night sharp? Oh, well, what's with the late night knife sharpening? Oh, hey, you mean this thing? <laughs> I've been using this to cut tuna. Uh, I guess it does kind of look like something you could use to shank another guy. Get the blood flowing. <laughs> uh, now I see how this is all coming together. Huh? Uh, what's coming together? Uh, why is Ryoko all suspicious of me all of a sudden? Uh, I wonder about that lady sometimes. Well, she said you've been a lot more well off in the money department than you should be. <laughs> oh, that! Well, I just so happen to win a nice wad of cash in the Mahjong table, so I stash them away for special occasions. <laughs> Man, that wife of mine's pretty sharp. <laughs> there you are! What are you doing here? I wouldn't worry if I were you. Uh, your husband's giving me an ex explanation for everything, and it all checks out. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, you just gotta trust me, babe. Uh, I promise you I wasn't gonna make you cry. Uh, that was oh, one of my wedding vows. And then you remembered. You remembered your promise. Of course I remember, babe. Uh, you think I forget a thing like that? Uh, sorry for putting you through all this drama, Kitty-san. Uh, I hope you'll take this for your troubles. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for all your help. I feel like I could trust my husband so much more now. Well, I better get going. Yeah, no worries. Well, pretty easy misunderstanding, I guess. But, yep, all's well that ends well. Alright, let's see. Three more sub-stories popped up. Let's see here, starting off with... Hey, are you alright? Please, I need water. Ugh, feels like my intestines are on fire. I'm sure that's how he feels when you drink yourself into a stupor. He'll probably just be he'll probably be just fine, but I suppose giving you some water wouldn't hurt. Uh, here, drink this. Yeah, Pepsi is not gonna do it here. Whew, that's better. Thank you very much. You okay now? Uh. Yeah, 
I never drank that much alcohol before in my life. I thought I was gonna die. A man should know his limits. I suppose so. Sorry for the trouble. I had to take some clients out of the town for the night. See, uh, take some clients out of the town for the night, you see. And I'm still in my first year of the company, so I can't turn down a drink when our clients want to go another round. So you're a new recruit, huh? Mm, but still, even in your situation, you gotta know when to put your foot down. You're right. And sometimes I end up doing stupid things, all, all because I don't know when to say no. I see. Sounds familiar. Yeah. I mean, this isn't how it was supposed to be. I initially joined this construction firm because I, uh, I mean, because I wanted to design skyscrapers and our complex architecture work. But all I ever do is entertain these two-bit contractors who want us to build the same old boring apartments over and over and over. Day in and day out, it's nothing but bars and hostess clubs with a bunch of drunk old men. I'm starting to feel like I'm not cut out for this. And let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see, where is this guy here? Let's see. Rookie's Dilemma. Let's see. If you don't like it, just... Well, let's see here. Alright, you need more person... Hey, if you don't like it, just quit. If you don't like it, just quit. Huh? But, but I can't just up and... Oh, look at how miserable you are. Better quit while you're still young and find something you enjoy. Mm. And maybe you're right. I am still young. In fact, I've already written up a letter of resignation. Oh. And I'm gonna go slam it on my boss's table. Thanks for the advice, man. Alright, well, there's that resolved. I, well, for now, at least. Ah. Alright, the next quest is Stardust. Alright, Kazuki san, but I do hope you consider a second club. That's not gonna happen. My mind's made up on this. <laughs> no one did you be so stubborn. I'll be back later. Oh, Kiryu san, uh, what's going on? Not much, but who is he? Has one of the families been paying you a visit? No, that was Kyogoku san. He's a businessman in charge of all kinds of host and hostess venues. And lately, he's been trying to get us to open up another branch of Stardust. A second club, huh? Well, that sure would be something. Indeed. The Stardust name has really taken off, so he wants us to expand to another region. And where was he thinking that would be? Yokohama. He thinks it would be a good way to avoid the tight competition in Tokyo and plant some new roots. But Kyogoku-san's group doesn't have a club in any star power in Yokohama. And that's why he's offering, offering me capital to really promote the Stardust name there. I see. But I have absolutely no desire for a second club. But what I have here is more than enough. Uh, well, you might not be interested, but maybe Yuya? I mean, he has been thinking about maybe uh, spreading his wings a little late. Hey, Kyuju-san, do you want to talk to Kazuki-san about something? Actually, I just dropped in to say hello. Gotcha. Hope you don't mind, but I've got some important business to deal with right now. Uh, think we could chat some other time? No problem. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, tell it to be straight, Eiji. Uh, just what is it you're get- uh, Tell me to be straight, Eiji. Uh, just what is it you're getting at? I'm saying you have to open up a second club to keep the Stardust image high. That's now or never, Yuya san. Uh, Kasuki san could stay here in Kamurocho, and you could be the owner of the second club in Yokohama. It'd be great for everybody. But I'm the manager here. What would happen to this club without me? <laughs> I'm sure Kasuki san can handle it. I'm telling you, man. You gotta break away from Kasuki san and be your own man. Don't you think it's time by now? Uh, that's enough, Edgy. Uh, you might not know since you haven't been here long, but what Kasuki san says is what goes. And he says we're not opening a second club, so that's the end of this discussion. But uh, we can continue this discussion some other time. You need to get back to work. Sorry about that. Uh, Kyogoku's got everybody all worked up about opening a second club. That's understandable. Expanding the business like that would be a big change. You got that right. Mm, but we got enough to worry about just trying to keep this place on top. Anyway, uh, please, make yourself at home, Kitty san uh, I still have some work to take care of, so... Uh, sorry about that. Hmm...
All right, another Stardust. All right, let me just see if there's any keys around here that I might have missed. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Ah, him again. <laughs> hey, you're that guy. <laughs> well, guess what? I just couldn't handle it after all. What happened? Well, I slammed that letter of resignation on my boss's table at the club. Then he dragged me into the restroom and started lecturing me to Kingdom Come. He told me to quit fucking around, slap me in the head, and went back out for a drink. I just don't know what to do. At this rate, I'll never get the kind of work I want. If I stick it out and keep doing what I do now, I'll just be miserable for the rest of my life. Jeez, why should I even work at all? Uh, for yourself. For yourself. Huh? You said there's something you wanted to do. It's still your first year on the job, right? Uh, you can't expect everything to come easy right from the start. Uh, why don't you give it some time? Hmm, if I quit now, then it's all over. If I look at it like I'm uh, in this for myself, then yeah, that gives me a little more motivation. We're also some clients at the sushi bar right now. I better get back to work. Alright, let's see here. Looks like I was wrong. I'll try to find it with this new email. Alright. Hmm? What's it? Kyu-san, it's Yuya. Sorry to trouble you, but... Yeah, what's wrong? Uh, did something happen? Well, I need to talk to you in person. Uh, could you meet me over at Bantam? It's right across from the Millennium Tower. Uh, Bantam it is. I'll be there. Alright, so yeah, we'll go and uh, talk to Yuya in a little bit, but first let's take care of this new side quest that's popped up. So... You see what happens? You eat the ramen, you're damn well better pay for it! Uh, what happens? That guy ran well, uh, I'm uh, paying for his meal. Him, yeah. over there. I can't believe that bastard. Has he gone that far already? Oh, oh, you again. So... Damn it, the owner makes that robin with pride. I can't let him disrespect us like this. All right, let's see here. All right, I just need to catch him, right? You'll really chase him? I owe you one. I don't really care about the money. Uh, the owner put his hard soul into that ramen. I can't let somebody die and dash on us. Please, catch him! Alright. Away! Oh my god.
There we go. Got him. You again? What's with you? I guess you never learn, huh? Now you're coming with me. Uh, that'll be 950 yen for the pork ramen you ate. But I don't think we need your money. Instead, you're gonna wash our dishes until closing time. You gotta be kidding! What if I pay 10 times the price? You can let me go for 900, uh, 950 yen, right? Uh, wait, you got that much? Uh -oh. Please, seriously, your ramen's amazing. Uh, would that be enough to make it up to you? <sighs> well, for that much cash, how can I refuse? Just, if you had that much money, why didn't you pay in the first place? Yeah. Why did I die in dash? <laughs> you should know by now. I did it because the food was there. Uh? What? You're not climbing Everest. You're not climbing Everest, you idiot. You don't just do it because it's there. Oh. And you, you make a good rival. I'll see you next time I go dashing. <laughs> He's a weirdo. Huh. Thanks for catching that dying dasher. You must be tired. Here, have a drink. <sighs> Sorry I got wrapped up in this. And now that loon thinks you're his rival or something. Well, good luck. Yay me! Oh, got another psych quest here. You don't say much. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you again. Hmm? Uh, looks like you got a full house today. My employee's wife went into labor and he had to rush to the hospital. Uh, of course, I'd like to be there with them, but look at all these customers. And I'm all alone here. Anyway, what can I get you? I see. Uh, why don't I help you out? Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, you sure about that? Uh, yeah, sure. It's the least I could do for all the great ramen I've eaten here. Uh, what should I do? Can you take orders for the customers for me? Uh, just tell me the type of ramen each customer wants in their order they ask for it. Make sure not to mix up the customer order and the types of ramen each person wants. Alright, now I'll give it a shot. Uh, tell me which, uh, which ramen each customer wants in the order they ask for it. Mess up any orders, customers will get mad. Focus to take each order out carefully. Chashu Tonkotsu Ramen. Mentai, uh, Mentaiko Tonkotsu Ramen. Lord's Kyushu Tonkotsu Ramen. Double Stewed Pork Tonkotsu Ramen. Kyushu Tonkotsu Ramen, please. Let's see, the first guy I asked for... Chashu Tonkotsu Ramen. One Chashu uh, Tonkotsu Ramen coming up. You got it! One Chashu Tonkotsu Ramen coming up! Second guy I wanted... Mentaiko Tonkotsu Ramen. One thing, um, one t uh, Mentaiko Tonkotsu Ramen coming up. You got it. One Mentaiko Tonkotsu Ramen coming up. Pretty sure the third customer asked for here. Large Kyushu Tonkotsu Ramen. One large Kyushu Tonkotsu Ramen coming up. You got it. One large Kyushu Tonkotsu Ramen. Fourth customer ordered double stew Tonkotsu Ramen. One double stew tonkotsu ramen coming up. You got it. one double stew tonkotsu ramen. Last customer must have ordered and Kyushu tonkotsu ramen. One Kyushu tonkotsu ramen coming up. You were really on fire today. Hell, you probably did even better than my part timer. Check, please. Uh, thanks so much for your business. Please come again. Looks like I can finally calm down in here. Now then. Here's your payment for today. It really helped me a lot, so I need to add a little extra. You don't say much. I do do they must uh Alright, let's see, the Komaki fist reversal. S is a rolling.
All right, let's see. Next up. All right, uh, meet up with Yuya over at Bontom. Yeah, but first, that other guy should be ready by now. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, great. Back to, all right, dealing with these dipshits. feeling we mean again but what do you mean by that seems like you always show up whenever I'm struggling with something I can always just leave uh, no no your advice really helps and you're the only one I can talk to about these things well what is it this time well my son by for college his own business he asked me if I want to be his partner in this thing so I got this dilemma over whether I should keep my job at the company or help out my college senpai with his new business what's his new business all about well, that's the thing. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, can't you say? It's an IT company. IT? Oh, what does it have to do with architecture? And that's exactly right. The thing is, my senpai is really confident this IT business will succeed. Then he says we could pu put it on the market, and we could make a huge fortune. Yeah, I've heard that one plenty of times. Uh, don't you think it's a little late to be starting over in that field? That's what I'm afraid of. But at this rate, it'll take years for me to get any significant building jobs. My college senpai says, even if we don't make bank, uh, once the company goes public, millions of yen will start flooding in anyway. Yeah, no, it sounds like a pipe dream to me. Mm. I have to make a decision now. What do you think I should do? Uh, uh, do what you want. I think you should do what you want. It's your life. Uh, it's your life, after all. What kind of answer is that? Up to now, you've been telling me to do either this or that. Uh, well, I mean, hey, it's not my fault I'm not given better options. But being a doll and take some responsibility for the things you tell people. Come again? I'm saying, don't give me that flimsy, ambiguous bullshit. I'll take responsibility for any flimsy answers I've given. Oh, but I'm not about to take responsibility for some flake who's willing to throw away his dreams on a whim. What? It's your fault that I have to throw away my trees in the first place! If it wasn't for your lame advice, I might not be in this mess! This guy's pretty worked up. I should probably knock a little sense into him. Alright, fine. You want me to take some responsibility? This is my own special way of doing it. Get your notepad ready. Oh, wow, this guy's pathetic. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. Why'd you gotta hit me? Stinks, doesn't it? A good punch could do that to anybody. 
Yeah, no shit! So what's your point? The physical wounds will heal with time. Uh, but sometimes the emotional ones stay with you forever. Huh? You're saying I have some kind of emotional wounds? Yeah. Well, the way I see it, you're just making excuses. You think that uh, throwing your dreams away will help get rid of your problems, right? Well, running away might bring temporary relief, but once you throw away your dreams, you can never get them back. Mm -hmm. Never? Like, never ever? Even if you do make it big with the IT venture, taking back your dream of redesigning buildings could be a major struggle at that point. And I don't think some flake who can't even host his clients right could handle that kind of struggle. It all makes sense now. All this time, I've been looking for excuses to run away from my problems. That's why I'm in this mess. Well, I'm glad to hear you figured that out before it was too late. It's kind of like I've been in a drunken stupor all this time. Well, if it all takes a few punches to sober you up, then I'm happy to oblige. Thank you so much. I want you to have this as a token of my gratitude. Alright. I'm not going to quit the company. Instead, I'm going to work my knuckles to the bone. If need be, uh, I work my knuckles to the bone if need be in order to reach those dreams. So long, buddy, and thanks. Alright, well, I mean, hey. Good thing you figured that one out, pal. Alright, anyways, time to go and head on over to Yuya. Let's see here. Oh, my ears. All right, let me just see how many uh, more. Uh, oh, let's see here. All right, there's two. Uh, there's two sub stories that I can get for Riki. Uh, get when I have Riki. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kiryu-san, thanks for taking the time to be up with me like this. Yeah, we really appreciate it. This is A.G. Uh, I think you met before, right? Right. Uh, so, what do you want to talk to me about? Well, it's about the second club. Uh, we're wondering if you could talk to Kazuki-san about it. And maybe help him see a different point of view? Uh, whether I'd be the manager of the new club or not, I really just want to get the Stardust name out there. Uh, that's all I've ever been after. Well, Kyokoku-san said he could get us a building, too. And this group is even willing to provide us with any kind of staff we need. I mean, it'd be huge. How can I pass up a chance like this? Did you talk to Kazuki san uh, Kazuki about it? He wouldn't even listen to me. A second club's out of the question, as far as he's concerned. Then I got nothing to say to him. Uh, but I just know you can do it, Yuya-san. Uh, you've been the manager of Kamurocho's house club forever now. So, I think you'd be a great owner, too. I follow you there, bro. Yeah, I bet there's a lot of other hosts who'd love to work in Yokohama if you were the boss, too. Yuya, club affairs are your business, not mine. Kazuki must have his reasons for saying no. I guess you're right. I'll go have another talk with him myself. Alright, now it says to go on back to Stardust and, uh, yeah, uh, see how this little drama unfolds here. Oh boy. What's going on here? Oh, uh, hey, Kiryu-san. 
Is there a problem? No, no, we're just talking about the second club. But uh, Kazuki san won't listen to any of Yuya san's ideas. Is that true, Kazuki? Well, I won't exactly put it like that. Uh, what are you talking about? It's obvious you don't want Yuya san to branch out and do his own thing. Instead, all you're doing is keeping him on a leash. Uh, yeah, notice that Eiji here is being the main instigator here. I never said anything like that. It's just that opening up a new place isn't as easy as you might think. And we don't know a thing about Yokohama. Opening a cult there would be way too risky. But if you don't take your chances while they're there, you'll never get to the top. Well, that's how business works. And with your way of thinking, even the club you have now is going to go under. That's enough of you of running your mouth. Uh, what would either of you know about running a host club anyway? If you don't like doing things my way, there's the door. Uh -huh. And there he goes with that there's the door thing again. Let's get out of here, Yuya-san. You can't expect us to work like this. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. Don't worry about me. Yuya-san, are you busy after this? Um, there's something I need to come clean about. Sure. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I appreciate that. Could you wait for me at Cafe Alpsen? It's something I can't really discuss here. I understand. I'll see you there, then. I'll see you in a bit. I'll be there as soon as I call him the staff down. Alright, heading on over to Cafe Alps. Looks like Kazuki isn't here yet. Oh, wait. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had a long talk with everyone at the club. So, what you want to tell me? This whole second club thing with Yuya is really starting to wear me down. That doesn't sound like... That doesn't sound like you. I know. But, to be honest, I never thought Yuya would get so caught up in it. I've known him for about seven years now. I've tried to teach him everything I could about the business, even before Stars was the number one host club in town. I guess, deep down, I always thought Yuya would stick by me no matter what. So, when I saw him all wide-eyed about the second club business, it got me really upset. I guess that's why I blew up at him. Uh, whether you agree with him or not, I'm sure Yuya is just trying to do what he thinks is best. I hope you're right, but something tells me there's more to it than that. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for listening. I feel a little better after getting that out there. I can't exactly open up to the staff like this, you know? No problem. If there's ever anything you need, just say the word. I might just take you up on that. Alright, next up in this little chain here. Oh, crap. There we go.
That's edgy. The guy who was with Yuya. Where could he be? Where could he be going? Yeah, everything's going great. Huh? Oh, for sure. You is a major dumbass. Uh huh. I brought him up like a turkey, telling me to be the perfect owner of other stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, that's going according to plan too. All the hosts at Sardis are pretty riled up. We ought to be able to take over soon. <laughs> right. I'll call again if anything happens. Oh, and President Kyokoku, get the champagne ready. <laughs> Thought so. What the? Did you? Did you hear all that? Hear what? That Yuya is a dumbass? Or that your boss killed Goku or something to something? Damn you! I can't let you fuck this up! There's way too much at stake! I should have thought twice before he's dropping, because I'm about to make you drop dead! Oh, you are just adorable. I'm just gonna go and smash that pretty face of yours like a porcelain, or like porcelain glass. Oh, right in the dick. Oh, shit. All right, Kazuki, what it's is me. You're Kiyosan, what's going on? Get Yuya and bring him over to the alleyway behind Public Park 3, fast. I got something to show you. All right. I don't believe this shit. Did you say you were going to stay out of it? All I said was the decision was theirs to make, not mine. And Kiyosan, what is it you wanted to show us? Eiji, what the hell's going on here? He's been working with Kyogoku to cause friction between you and the other hosts. I don't believe this. So that's why you joined Stardust? To mess everything up? I might as well tell you now. That whole thing about a second club? All bullshit. <laughs> the idea was to get all the hosts at Stardust to turn on each other, so Kyogoku could start pulling them away to join his own network. Then we step in to put things in order and take over the club itself. But man, I didn't think it'd be so easy. It was like dealing with a bunch of idiots. Huh? I've heard enough from you. Where's Kyogoku? At our Millennium Tower office. You'll know when you get there. Uh, Kazuki-san! Ah, damn it! The Cupid Stars trash free is supposed to be my job! Kiyosan, I got something to take care of first. Uh, could you go after Kazuki-san for me? Mm, gonna take out a little payback on Eiji, huh? Can't say I blame you. Alright, leave Kazuki to me. Just make sure you leave him alive. That way he can suffer a little more. Thanks. I'll make sure his little tapeworm gets what he deserves. Then I'll get right to the Millennium Tower. What I deserve? What's that supposed to mean? Are, are you gonna hit me again? Get ready, cause Yuya's punches sting. Maybe even worse than mine. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, off to the Millennium Tower. Francis is locked up. Uh, follow me. Uh, we should be able to get in through the back. This is Kyokoku's office. I managed to track the location of Eji. Well, beat it out was more like it. Eh, either way it works. Kazuki-san! You, you, I, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Uh, don't worry about that, Kazuki said. I mean, I'm the one who should have had more faith. It's a shame Eiji couldn't do his job, but since we were all nice enough to come here to get knocked off, the takeover should still proceed as scheduled. So tell me, would you like your corpses dumped in the sea or up in the fucking mountains? Alright, I'll have to save that question for you then.
Keep your filthy hands off Stardust from now on. Permanently. Yes. Understood. Uh, you alright, Kazuki-san? Well, why'd you run off by yourself like that? I couldn't forgive myself for doubting you, so I just snapped it. Well, there you have it. Kazuki-san. I don't know what's wrong with me. I always lecture the staff like I have all the answers, but where would I be without you guys? I know we gotta stick together, and that's why I'm still here. It looks like you were both trying to do what's best for Stardust, each in your own way. I'm sorry we got you sucked into this thing, Kitty Sun. Well, what, there, where's the guy supposed to relax this town? Stardust is gone. <laughs> well, you'll always be welcome. Oh, and I want you to have this. It's not much, but I hope you'll appreciate it for all you've done for us. That'll work. Well, now that's taken care of. What do you say we head back to the club? Sounds good. Alright, let's see. I think that's all the side quests done for now. So, yeah, let's go and pick up Riki. Yeah, make sure and grab the doofus before... Uh, grab the bunker before he gets himself into... My, before he gets himself into trouble. All right, just a little more. Arigatouございました. Oh right! Before I forget, yeah, I better swing back. Uh, swing back to Dragon Palace. Apparently, something's popped up. Alright, let's see. There should be another side quest here. Huh? You either pay up or we'll be back to rip this place to shreds! Get that through your skull! The hell are you looking at? Your stupid ass face. Oh, Kiryu-san. I'm sorry you had to see that. What's going on here? Those thugs found out about our casino, and now they want us to pay protection money. This casino was made so homeless people would know where else to go could have a good time with what little money they have. Okay. We don't have anybody to give to the likes of them. That is concerning. I wish we could have a tough guy like you do the bouncing for us, but I don't want to impose on you any further. We already owe you for taking this place back for those brats. Nah, you don't owe me a thing. Uh, we're good. 
But come to think of it, some of the homeless men who play here have been talking about a couple of guys they've seen around town. They say they make great bouncers. A retired pro wrestler, a disgraced boxer, men who are fiery in spirit, yet their skills like dormant, waiting for just the right spark to reignite their brilliant flame. I hate to ask you this, but would you do me a favor? What's that? And please, if you could just bring back some of those big boys to work here as bouncers, we'd be eternally grateful. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, I'll see if I can round up a few bouncers for you. Thank you. I really feel bad asking you to do this, though. Uh, you've done so much for us already. It's no problem. So, who do you want me to start with? And there's a pro wrestler who goes by the name of Violence to Obata who might work out. Try him first. I already heard his back and was tossed out of the Wrestling Federation, though. Uh, though he's still proud to around on his own, claiming he can fight. Violence to Obata, uh, Obata, huh? Where can I find him? I heard some, uh, someone say he saw him drinking somewhere around the Champion District. Got it. I wonder if he really lives up to that name. Alright, but before that, let's see if we can go and pay Kamaki another visit and see if we can get some new skills. Well, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see. Learn a new move. I was hoping you could teach me a new move or two. Oh, -ho! you certainly do possess an impressive amount of strength. Now, what technique would be appropriate for a man like you? I've got it. There are three secret techniques that have been passed down from master to pupil for centuries. I can think of none more fitting for you, my dear pupil. How I wish I could teach them to you now. What? You can't. Why not? Teaching the techniques themselves is no problem. I know they're like the back of my own hand. The problem lies in the tradition of teaching these techniques. The secret tone that describes these techniques is missing, and it must be passed on to whomever learns them. A book? How'd you manage to lose something that important? A homeless man ran off of it during the confusion of moving all of our materials into the Dragon Palace. We were all so preoccupied we didn't realize what had happened until it was too late. If you can find the book and bring it back to me, I can teach you those secret techniques. Another errand to add to the pile, I suppose. <laughs> oh, great. Curious becoming self-aware. Watch out, people. It's not an errand. This is part of your training. All right, all right. Uh, where can I find this homeless man? Mm. His name is Kamikichi. From what I hear, he spends a lot of time in a park. There are several parks in Kamenocho, so you may need to take a look around. All right. I'll go see if I can find him. Good luck. If you find that book, come back and see me. All right, Kamikichi, and he's running around in a park somewhere. All right, so let's get started on tracking them down. Oh, all right, yep, not moving forward until I uh, fully learn from Master Komaki. Hmm. All right, the first guy should be at Children's Park. All right, let's see here. 
Hey, you. Hmm? Who are you? What do you want from me? Are you Kamikichi? Yeah, buddy. Uh, you got the wrong guy. I'm no Kamikichi. Uh, the real Kamikichi was here just a little while ago, though. Now, uh, let's see. Where did he say he was going? Oh, that's right. He got himself some money, so he said he was heading to the gambling hall. Gambling hall? He must be talking about the Dragon Palace. I'll try there. All right. <sighs> Let's just hope he didn't. Uh, let's just hope he. Uh, let's just hope his luck holds out. Or at least until I get there. Are you Kamikichi? The hell do you want? Can't you see I'm on a losing streak? I just want to be left alone. You took a book from Master Komaki's dojo, didn't you? I'm here to get it back. What book? Oh, you mean that dirty old thing? I sold the beast who plotted to get me some gambling money. They didn't give me much more, though. And the money's long gone. You sold it? I better get over there before someone else buys it. Alright. Ibizu Pond it is. Another side quest. Oh, right, yeah, the boxing guy. Right, right, right. Ah, go away. Leave me alone. And let me see if there's any new stuff here. Yakuza Ambush and Hammer Place. Let's see, pepper knuckles, pepper and adhesive bandages and steel knuckles, retro fire tonfa, ground hot pepper and dropper and mail or tonfa. Let's see, nine millimeter pistol with mystery liquid and multi-purpose thumbtack. Let's see, uh, pepper spray, ancient uh, pepper spray hammer, ancient seal dropper, and pepper spray. All right, let's see, where is it? Need a stay. Area, unarmed Gion style tone. Hi, Arigato. 
Alright, I got the book. I better get back to Komaki's Dojo at the Dragon Palace. Alright, at, at least we didn't have to fight anybody to get it back. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty sure that uh, this is like early on in Yakuza 3 before they got, uh, yeah, in Yakuza 3, pretty sure this is before they decided to add some more uh, taxi points around the city. Uh, yeah, it just makes it more likely to get an ambush and get into another fight. Yeah, I know, if only Kitty could, you know, like, actually run. Instead of just, like, this light sprint. Yeah, whatever. Hey, I found that book you wanted. Here you go. Well done, my favorite pupil. I didn't expect you to be able to find it so quickly. Let's get right to it then and continue your training. Sure, I'm ready. There are three skills to learn from this book. The techniques of heaven, earth, and man. A particular note is the heaven technique. The most secretive of all, that a master must only convey upon his chosen pupil. Before heaven, we must learn the man and earth techniques. First, let's begin with man. Sounds good. To use the man technique, your opponent must be armed with a bladed weapon. So I can only use it when someone's coming at me with a sword or something. Just so. If you are able to use it successfully, however, you may be able to turn the tables on your opponent. And uh, try it on my pupil over there. All right. Hi, cutie son. Uh, please take it easy on me. Uh, let's see. When he gets full, press the triangle button at the same time, the enemy attacks you. Are you ready? Now, begin! Nice. Astounding! Yes, that was indeed a Komaki swordless rebirth. Use this technique on a sword wielding opponent to quickly turn the tables on him. Swordless rebirth. This is going to be pretty useful. You never know what kinds of weapons guys are walking around with nowadays. Komaki swordless rebirth. Hmm. I'd like to go on to the next technique, but perhaps you would like to rest a while before reassuming your training. No, I can keep going. Let us move on to your next lesson. Next is the technique of Earth. To execute this technique, you must grab hold of your opponent, then drop him on his head from a height. But this technique won't do much damage without a proper object to land on. Try dropping them onto something around knee height for maximum effectiveness. Dropped him down on a short object. Got it. That looks to be about the right height. There are limited options here in this dojo. Finding the best place to perform this technique is a critical part of the learning process. Now try it against my pupil as before. Alright. Ready to get back up again? Let's see. The first object is around knee height, then press the triangle button to use it. Are you ready? Now, begin! Got it. Astounding! That was the perfect Kobaki bowl crusher, or bull crusher. Few people can remain standing after taking a hard hit like that to the head. Yeah, I think that my other pupil might be dead, though, so... 
Pupil, grab a shovel. Bull crusher? Fitting name. Then I can handle even tougher enemies with this move in my repertoire. The Komaki Bull Crusher. You have now mastered two of the three secret techniques. I never thought you would learn so fast. It's all thanks to you and your pupils. I would never have been able to do it by myself. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I am quite the impressive teacher, after all. And you're modest, too. <laughs> hey, that's no way to talk to your master. In any case, only one remains. The heaven technique. Perhaps you would like to rest a bit before you attempt to master it? Nope, let's keep going here. I'm on a roll. Let us move on to your next lesson. Now then, it's time for you to learn the heaven technique. All right, been looking forward to this one. It's called Komaki Dragon King Essence. As I said before, this can only be passed on from a master to his chosen pupil. Komaki Dragon King Essence, eh? Perfect. As such, I've asked my pupils to leave us alone. Komaki Dragon King Essence must be performed after using Komaki Parry to render your opponent unconscious. Komaki Parry? That's a move you can perform just as the opponent throws a punch, right? I want you to practice using this move in combat for this last lesson. However, as I said, I've asked my pupils to step out. <laughs> so, I'll be facing you, huh? So, I'll be facing you, huh? <laughs> Precisely! Your final opponent will be none other than me! All right. But know that I'm not going to hold back. You will not be able to beat me unless you come at me with all your might. Now let me see you perfect the Komaki Dragon King Essence. Are you prepared? Then let us begin. Set the boy. the boy. Come on, throw a punch.
Any time now. Shit there, dude! Amazing! Well done, my prized pupil! You executed a perfect Kobaki Dragon King essence! Whew! I did? Indeed! Why, it was just like looking into a mirror! You moved as fluently as I did at your young age! Really? That's quite the compliment. Thank you. The Kobaki Dragon King essence! With this, you have learned all the techniques in the book. I have nothing more to teach you, my dearest disciple. You will find it difficult to seek opponents who will truly challenge you now. But if you do, you must not lose. Remember this, my favorite student, as you are now the successor of the Kobaki School. Don't worry, I won't. Thank you for everything, old man. It was my pleasure. I should probably get going. Thanks for all the help. I spent most of my time here in the dojo. You may come see me anytime you feel your skills need polishing. But of course, Kamurocho is a very small town. We may very well run into one another somewhere. Who knows? Glad to see you're still keeping active, old man. See you later. Whew. Alright, let's see here. Komaki Bull Crusher, Swordless Rebirth, and yeah, Dragon King Essence. Yeah, no, that was absolutely badass. I, and I've relearned all but one of the Komaki techniques. Alright, now to go and take care of that bouncer stuff. All right, the first ba uh, bouncer is needed, and the first bouncer. All right, off to the champion district. Yeah, and once we take care of him, then we'll call it a day here. Oh, boy. Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh, time for a pick. All right, time for a pick me up here. Let's see here. Grade A Harami. Let's see here. A man out drinking in the champion district, huh? This must be an honor than Violet's toy, uh, Tobata. He's really big enough to be a bouncer. Hey, wake up. Up and out there, big boy. Huh? Uh, what do you want? I'm kidding you. I was hoping we could talk. See, I'm working for a casino, and right now we're looking for bouncers. I was thinking I could recruit you. A bouncer? I'm a pro wrestler, man. Well, why would I want to downgrade to something like that? Well, I heard you hurt your back and we're going to retire. Uh, something along those lines. What? Uh, that's just some bullshit my marriage are saying. It's, it's my body anyway. I ought to know what's best, uh, don't you think? Uh, come on, I'll prove it to you. I've still got plenty of gas left in the tank. Go in and try me! If you can knock me out, I'll bow out gracefully and become your bouncer! I put that on my prize of wrestler! Okay then, buddy! Just know that this was... Uh, there's nobody here, so we can duke it out all we want. Hey, you wanna know why they call me Violence Toibata? Uh, to, uh, Violence Tobita? Because I like to get violent and rip the opponent to bits. Get it? No? Fine, let's just do this. Oh, uh, that's cute. Holy crap! I lost me of all people. Damn it all. I can't believe I lost to an amateur. You done mourning over your retirement? Yeah, I pretty much knew I had it coming. Besides, this is a good back of mine's permanently down for the count. Wrestling's a battle, of course, but it's also a show. You gotta make it fun for the fans. That's the most important thing. And it's not just about being strong either. You gotta show the kids something fresh. Uh, you gotta have flair. Sparkle, uh, pizzazz, uh, I, don't, I don't know, you gotta have some style! Uh, with my back like this, I doubt I'm gonna have that kind of performance ever again, so... Thanks for helping make up my mind. I'll take that offer of yours. I'll be your bouncer. Good. Then let me set you up with this place. It's in a building on Park Boulevard. Uh, you can head there whenever you're ready. It's a deal. And thanks, Kiju said. Uh, I guess I'll be seeing you around.
All right, right now there's only two bouncers I can pick up for the side quest. So yeah, once we uh, pick up the second guy, we'll call it a day. Because I gotta tell you, these ear, uh, yeah, these things here, these headphones, they're crushing my poor ears. No, just fuck off, diaper boy. Just fuck off. All right, let's see. Bouncer number two. Oh, Kiryu-san, thanks for stopping by. And I'll send you a message if I find someone suitable to recruit as a bouncer. Until then, enjoy the casino. Oh, so apparently I get them in, like, messages. Alright, fine. Well, I guess I'm kind of done for now. All right, time for me to save and call it a day here. Yeah, you know, I'll save right next to the batting cages so I can just go pick up Rikia, take care of the two side quests there, and then take care of another side quest that pops up once we uh, progress enough in the story. Oh, damn it. All right, fine, asshole. Let's do this. Come on, shake off. Come on, it's up with these jack -offs. There, Jesus. All right, looks like, all right, we're good. So yeah, saving a call to the day here. Oh boy. Alright, managed to cover a lot of ground today here, took care of a lot of side quests, and yeah, just, ourselves into this wacky, wacky-tacky hijinks here.
All right, so yeah, next time we're gonna uh, we're gonna drag Riki out on Kamarocho and make sure he doesn't get into any, uh, any more trouble than he already has. All right, so till next time, folks. This is David Stream of Consciousness. Stay inside, stay safe, wear a mask, and get vaccinated if you can. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.